hi, good morning. Today's a big day because of two things. Number one, I'm going to redo my patio. And secondly, my hair is in a ponytail without any assistance of bobby pins, which probably means I'm gonna inevitably cut it and hate it. This is who I am. Currently, my dining area is full of goodies that I've been collecting, hoarding. You know, I feel like collecting is hoarding, but curated. And that's what this is. I got a lot of stuff, but all with intention. This is, ugh, that was so bright. You know who wouldn't work for exposure? Vampires. Bad joke. Let me just tell you what has happened so far. Initially, this is a picture of how disgusting my patio was. No one has ever been out there before. It was really, really gross. So I got on my hands and knees and did the Cinderella thing and scrubbed so intensely the floor so that I'm ready to start brand new. I was trying to wait to film this video because I was supposed to have a really nice day bed come, but uh, I forgot to text confirm that the delivery date was good, so now I'm just without a day bed. So I'm just gonna put all of this stuff out here without the day bed, and then we'll see how it feels. Okay, so we have a whole lot to put outside, but the first thing that I wanna put out is, okay, this is a little embarrassing, but this was a souvenir that I had initially bought for somebody else when I went to Tulum, but then I ended up buying other things, so I kept this for myself. I'm human. I don't know what it is. What, oh, it smells so good. It smells like, it smells like if there was a hipster clothespin that spoke four languages. Like, it's cultured, but also down to earth and wouldn't brag about it being able to speak French. Ah, I love it. Okay, we're gonna put it right in the center. It's like weirdly a ritual, but there is no sage, no crystals, and no real intention. So it's just kind of incense. It's incense, but it's out sense right now. No one said the jokes were gonna be good. Happy birthday to us. Oops, look at it holding down the fort so nicely. But honestly, a closer look, this style is exactly what the whole patio is gonna be. It's like Mayan, woven, natural. That's the vibe we're going for. Let's get to it. Here's the patio as it stands. I had this tree from somewhere online started inside and then I moved it outside. It's not going to fit in with the theme of where this is going, but I'm just gonna keep it anyway. It's like got tenure out here. I have a wood panel walls, janky shiplap. I also have this hideous, light. There's nothing on the ceiling here. It's not got a lot to it, but I did add these. Dun, da, da, da. It's a macrame wall. Why? A few reasons. I put this up already because one, it was really time consuming. I basically ordered sheets of macrame. If you look closely, you can see that I sutured the centers of where they would match up. So this is two separate panels to fill this entire wall. The way I attach it so that it's not droopy up here, please disregard this. This is something that I tried to do years ago and don't know how to take off. I attached the macrame with little black twine. I attached it to a tension rod and then I also tied it to this because of wind factor. So it ended up looking really good. I like it a lot. This, hate. But we're out here focusing on the good. I attached it to the railing with just twine. I honestly couldn't tell you if it is craft twine or if it is Thanksgiving turkey string, but either way, it's working. Even just adding that feels a lot better to me. The second reason I already did the macrame was because I, I sometimes it gets weird when people know where you live. And you know, if you if you ever see this, just don't be weird. Okay, cool, let's move on. I started with the rugs because that's number one, the biggest square footage taker upper. I layered the rugs so that the jute darker one is on the bottom and then the lighter ivory one is right on top. I brought out this beautiful chair, which was really heavy and I maybe shouldn't have done it alone, but what do I know and what have I ever learned? Oh my God, this rocked me. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Okay, so what I'm doing with these little things is I'm placing them equidistant to span the length of the railway, basically hugging the corner and filling in all the spaces that the rug doesn't reach. These are. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting them to all go on. Oh my god, that's amazing! These are battery powered LED candles, and I'm just going to place them kind of in things. So I'm gonna definitely put them in these little floor votives. 
I don't know what to call those, except for on sale. Oh, that already looks so much warmer. I have only done a little bit. This is incredible. Even just right here, you can see so much natural fibers, natural woven type of textures. And then we get a little funky with this confession cylinder. You wouldn't think it matches with all this, but the silhouette that this would make with a candle in it, I thought would be so nice. Grouping things together is something that I do a lot in my design, so I love that so much. I put a blanket here because Coe's Town, USA, population, me only. I've had this fake sheepskin rug for so long, so I just threw that on there. I love how big this egg is. The dome feel is so nice you just feel taken care of it's like being in a aztec womb you feel cared for <laughs> is hung it looks really good I didn't realize this one was really short I have really long fake eucalyptus and I'm hoping that this will droop enough to where it would add some length let's find out okay I have two fake plants I've had for years and then a bunch of like green Rapunzel's that looks good that looks really good looks less good. Oh, it's like a bunch of little ones making a bigger one. And that's teamwork, kids. Oh, I get it. There's little hooks, so it can be like a really big garland. Oh, it's supposed to work better. Oh, it's like can't be trusted. It would do it if you wanted it too bad enough. This has been a lesson in drive and tenacity. I'm just gonna shove these in here. I'm just gonna keep zhuzhing until it doesn't look bad. It just looks super fake more than anything. It looks like extensions that no one blended in. Maybe it's fine. So then I just trimmed all the excess edges so that it blended together. Next up, you guessed it, it's patio lights. This patio, any patio, wouldn't be a patio without patio lights. Oh, dusty and dirty, my first book. What I was gonna do is hire an electrician to put this new light up and then also switch the routing Okay, less dirty, equally as dusty. I was gonna have them install the light here and then have them reroute whatever light is here so that my patio lights would just turn on instead of me having to physically go all the way back here and then unplug and replug these lights. There's no on and off switch for these patio lights, so I got outdoor remote control outlet and it's supposed to maybe skip that step. So now that I don't need to call an electrician, kind of makes me think I have to put this up myself. Not my favorite thing, but my friend has done it, which means maybe I can do it too. Okay, patio lights up. Change of plans, I am not going to hang that light, mainly because it's about to rain. Secondly, I'm tired and I feel like we've done a lot here. So we can end with this. If you know me, you know I'm really intentional to the point where it's a little uh, annoying. So I got this little box. This has all the remote controls, all the controls to the candles as well as the light. Let's give it a go. Maybe I'll come out here later and film what it looks like at nighttime because it will be more majestic. But let's just make sure that these lights work. Here's my button. Not working. What? What happened here? Hello? It like isn't on. It's not on. Folks, I don't know if this video is gonna have a happy ending for once because the little light that is supposed to come on when you plug it in to show that it's getting powered is not turning on. Oh, there's a there's a tab on the transmitter. If this doesn't work, ah! Oh. I see. Be a human and not a barbarian and then things might work out for you. My dating advice. That's lighting up. I'm just gonna try this. If this doesn't light up in this inside outlet, that means we have a problem on our hands. And if it does, we are in good shape. Everyone look for a little red. It would have been awesome if it worked. It would have been a happy ending. Wait, okay, look. Doom, doom. Okay, let's go plug something in. 
sir. Get ready to be impressed. Get ready to be impressed. You don't look ready. Okay. After all of that, hit me with some light. Ah! Let there be light! Let there be light! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the first manual strobe light operator. Back in the box you go. The throne of all light and darkness. I'm so excited.